Hi everybody and welcome back to Radio Bunker. In today's video we are going to learn how to assemble the automatic antenna tuner AT50. The first thing we are going to do is to dry holes to keep the board in place. I made three, one, two, three, and it's more than enough. And also you have less probability that water came into the case. Then what we need to do is to drill the holes for the external power supply, the earth connection, the input jack, and the exit from the antenna tuner that connects to the wire, to your long wire antenna. Power supplies get its 12 volt and get into the board through this cable. It is very easy because on the board you have ground and 12 volts. Don't worry if you reverse it because the board is protected with a diet. Believe me, this happened to me. Another thing that you will have to do is to connect your ground connection into the board. You can use the Cooper wire that came in the packages and just be sure that you make a good solder point into the board. I use this part because it seems that have a big area and will make good contact. In this side of the board we have to connect the exit and again you have to be sure that you are going that you are making good connection and also to remove the coating from the Cooper cable so you can make a good connection between your antenna jack and the board. You can use this little hole in the board to connect the antenna or the bigger. It's the same. Then you have the input. This is where your radio will be connected into the antenna tunnel. You have to use the coaxial cable that is provided on the package and put it all this way into here. The inside of the coaxial cable goes where it says RF in and the other side goes in the, others, in the other point where there is a ground symbol. Then you can also make another hole and place a force to tune button. In my case I didn't do it because I don't want that water gets, I want to have the less probability that water came into the case. And also this will replace very high so there is no sense to have this button and also it's not mandatory. But if you want to connect it, it's very easy. You just have to connect one where it says tune and the other side of the switch where it says round. And each time you press it, the antenna tuner will force to tune. Another, another part that, another thing that you will have to also set up are these little plastic sides that you just have to put it in this way, put some screw that came with the, um, with the packages. You don't need to make to drill the holes, they are already done into, into the plastic case and you can then you have here a way to put your antenna turner in a wall or into a mast or in, in any place that you want to, uh, to keep it. The last thing that you are wondering how to connect is the little OLED screen. It is very easy. The OLED screen have four cables, ground, BCC, SCL and SDA. You have to connect into the board 
with the cables that are also provided in the, in, in the package. And you have almost the same in the board, VCC and ground, DAT and CLK. DAT on the board correspond to here, the white cable to whoop, SDA. And clock on the board corresponds to SCL on the little all LED screen. So, hope you like this video and it's also useful for you how to assemble your AT50. Have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe.